place. Nicholas is yawning. Get bored. <laughs> <laughs> Down. I'll take four. Yeah, no kidding. Uh... No. So, she wanted to get up, give the no command, but I don't yell it, I don't scream it. Right. It just makes things worse. So nice and calmly, then I take a step towards her, she backed up, put herself on there, okay, good. But if she keeps doing it, I'm going to go over and correct with the leash. So we'll let her, she'll, she'll decide for me what I need to do. And petting her like this is really distracting. So I'm doing it on purpose, because it makes it harder for her right. to stay. Yeah, right away, want she, to wants to like, yeah. she wants to engage with me. Doing good. Yep. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Very nice. So the thing about the down you'll see is it's a little bit harder than place. So place, because it's soft and cushy, they love to go to place. She loves to go over there. Right. So she'll dive right on it and stay there real easily. Now the down is a little more challenging. She's like, oh, this isn't quite as comfortable. So I'd like to get up. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. So and it's like, I'm sorry, that's the rules. You have to stay even if it's on a wood floor. So just no. See? Yeah. Right on cue. No. Sit. No. So and I'm going to run through this all with you when I get you up and doing it. But the pressure for sit, I just pull straight up on the leash. If she doesn't go into it, and down, I pull straight down on the leash. But this is this is a nice, nice kind of vibe. I'll put them a little closer. Challenge ourselves on the one. Yep. Place. Sit. Down. Good. So. What's, what's fascinating for me is that the, you know, the video we have when they showed up the first day, it's like a circus. <laughs> <laughs> they came out of the car, it's like, what? totally crazy. And this vibe is so much more relaxed. And, and what's important to stress is that it's not just great for prospective owners or for you guys to have dogs that are well behaved. What's really great is that they're more comfortable. And, and if you can see that, you can really see the magic of this is that when he's hyped up, not playing, but when he's hyped up coming out of the skin, he's not a comfortable dog, and neither is she. When he can just be relaxed like this, they're much more comfortable dogs. So, as much as we want our lives to be easy and have dogs that listen and behave and, and a prospective adopters want the same, we also know that they want to just feel comfortable. Right. You know, it's like you being anxious all the time, you know, stressed and anxious, you're going to be miserable. And yeah. that's a lot of what we've had with them is too much excitement, too much hyperactivity, and too much stress stuff. Well, so, there's never really going to be rules. Yeah. Well, and, and just like with kids, rules make kids feel more comfortable. So it's the same thing with dogs. No. No. <laughs> so, but what's really cool, hopefully you can see that this stuff is pretty simple. We're not doing any really complicated yeah. stuff. It's real simple. And it's just, it's just the repetition and the consistency and, and keeping them accountable, holding them accountable, and it just creates a really nice, nice vibe when the dog is in a good space. And before, when they were crazy, I couldn't really interact with them because it made them worse. You know, she jump up to your face if you go to pet and try and do all yeah, this. Yeah, she would jump all the time. Yeah, and he would jump up on you, but she, like, if you go to like touch a collar, she'd come straight up like this. So those things are going to be. They're, they're going to be marks against them for, for a lot of owners. A lot of owners, I mean, unless you've got owners that walk in that are like the biggest pit bull advocates, they're like, I don't care how big and crazy right. they are. But a lot of people aren't there. A lot of people are going to see them, see that they're beautiful, but, but might be overwhelmed by their strength, you know. So the more calmly we can present them, the better chance they have of, of landing a home. Listen and be courteous and polite on the walk. You have to listen and be courteous and polite when you walk through doorways and when you come in and out of the crate. And all of those things cause them to start thinking because what we've had before is they just react. Doors open, ah, I just fly through. On the walk, ah, that's in the house. That's how they are too. I mean, as soon as I open a garage door, right, door right. In the backyard. So, but but because the human influence now says you can't do that, now crate door opens and they go. 
I'm thinking, okay, should I okay. go or not? Yeah. Oh, okay, let me make a choice. Let me actually use a little bit of impulse control, restrain myself, so it puts them into a much better gear and the mindset's a much more healthy space. So. I mean, if you guys got adopters and got, we were able to put them in place and have them chill out like this, and then when we put them in the backyard and get them to play, they're nuts. They're just as they, they were. They still have both, they have the other side as well, yeah. you know? This, I mean, take it to an adoption event and they can do this. People that would be, be like, amazing. Wow. Like, wow, yeah. I want this dog. Yeah. And that's, that's really what we want you guys to see is that what we're doing isn't that complicated. And I would love for all of you guys to be able to create the same thing so you can get these great dogs, all the, all, you know, great homes. And My feeling is that you and Royce, people that are doing really great work for dogs like this, I want you guys to be empowered with the knowledge so you guys can, can create this thing. Because then you guys can do your own training stuff. Yeah. Just yeah. Turn it out. It's not. It's not complicated stuff. It's a time thing. It's yeah, but it doesn't have to take that much yeah. time, right? So with the the two of them, we probably work well. So we've got the walk. The walk's probably forty five minutes, and then you know they've got playtime and things like that. But the actual work inside the house, maybe an hour. You don't need all day. That that's that quick. Yeah, they learn that quick. Yeah. Yeah, but that's. What I want you to see is that by doing a few exercises and then just putting them in one spot and not letting them move, this is where the real magic is coming from. It's just staying here while we're just doing our thing. So yeah, it kind of is because you know if you're busy, you don't want to burn around. You can just tell them to stay. You know, well, yeah. yeah Any time that you guys are at home, you could be training your dog. You don't have to be like, all right, training time. It's an it's hour like, of training. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's yeah. like... Put, it, put them in place and go do your thing. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say is... You guys are cooking and, yeah. you know, watching TV. They're in place. So, okay, I'm going to put one of them over here, and then we'll get you up and start working. Okay. I wouldn't go too close to her right away because she's going to be excited about you. Okay. So just like there's that mat over here. So no. Nope. nope. Down. Okay. So you can walk over so there. So I'll see when I walk the so, if you want him to walk with you, yeah. just say heel. Heel means just walk with you. And then, uh, and then place, you're going to say, as you walk him walking over, about when he gets right here, not you, but when he's about a foot from the mat, mm -hmm. just say place so walk and walk him on. Heel. So, no, you don't use their names? Uh, no, you just say heel. Heel. Just walk. Go go. Heel. It's brand new, and then just keep walking. Heel. There you go. Place. 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 Get him all the way on. Place. Yeah, it's okay. Down. Now, what I like about stepping on the leash versus versus like, him down and yeah, him well, down. he's gonna want to like yeah. he's gonna get goofy about you know he's gonna think it's playtime. So if you just do it with your foot, it kind of keeps you removed from the exercise. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's really having a hard time yeah, right now. Yeah, it's good. It's a good hard time to have. So <laughs> let's have you go over, grab the leash. Go down that way. So you can do it right here again. Say heel. Heel. Just walk. There you go. Place. Place. Nice. Place. You, you, just once. Oh. Now. Look okay, at you go. Perfect. Now walk away. Okay. It's easy, right? Jesus, we'll, see, we'll see how long it's last when I get home. Oh, don't say that. That's no, when they get in their own environment, man, it's, uh, yeah, but it's like a little dog there. And yeah, they just, uh, they just but inside the house, can you guys like make it kind of quieter to where you can yeah. work them for, for an hour a day? Yeah. Great. So let's I'm afraid to play with them. I don't want to break their training. Well, I wouldn't play with them right now, but when you want to play, they can do all sorts of nice stuff. And I'd do it in the backyard. I'd yeah. do it in a separate area than where you train yeah. them. No, I, could, I could make a walk right by him and he'll just... You, you can definitely, at some point, I'm, I'm not sure where we're at right now, but we'll have to see. Yep. Down. Thanks. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, and, and if he was to break, don't say down, just say no. Oh, no. So no is the okay. first thing you say, right? I don't care if he's across the room, a hundred yards away, you see him move, no. And that gives him the chance to clean it up and put himself back. If he doesn't... Oh, uh, I was not that confusing enough. Well, I mean, it's... The word, it would be worse to say, like, heel. You know, at least down would be, like, in the ballpark. But we want to just keep it consistent, which is no. 
And then if you have to say down again at some point, we can, but right now I want you to just disagree with him making the mistake. So okay. grab, grab his leash. Now I'm going to heal. 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 Walk over that way. Put him on that mat. Place. There you go. Place. And now, after you say it, make sure you just guide him on with the leash. There you go. Perfect. Down. Just like that. Bell. Step on the leash. Say it once. Perfect. Great. There you go. Great work. You have to step on the leash thing really well. Some people struggle with that. It's hard for a lot of folks. So, when you're trying to get him on place, and you actually after, put him on it. after you say the command, if he doesn't, with me he's done it a bunch, so I say it usually he just walks on. But if he doesn't, even if he gets locked up with me, just guide him on with the leash. Okay. But I don't want you to say place, 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 just say place. Right, yeah, I keep doing that. Guide. Guide. Yeah. Okay. So once you grab her, I'm going to say the same thing. Heel. Go. Place. Nice. Down. Awesome. Great work. Down. No, say no. It's okay. No. All right, say no. And then pop the leash. Release a little pop next time. There you go. And then go. Down. Make it happen. Down. See what I just told you? She's a little more challenging than him, <laughs> actually. So the walking around is awesome. That's perfect. Good. Now pick another spot. Pretty good design. You are. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, so pick another spot you want to take her to. Say heel and then walk her over to another spot. Heel. There you go. Maybe you can be the, be the head trainer. The head trainer. And then that one. about a week of practicing this with you, because you're brand new with her and with him. After about a week, if you stay down, you're not going to just go like this. Right now we're guiding them to a little transition. Then we're going to say pop. It's going to be more of a correction, because at that point they know. Very also, clearly. after we doing this for a couple weeks, after just, a week, just saying it down, it's not going to be enough that they don't listen. Well, well, gonna, like, what I would do, like, so just so you can see, I'll, I'll take him. Yep. So he's been working with me for five days. So I know that he knows what I want. Sit. Down. So if he didn't go down when I asked him to, then I would just pop the leash with my foot. I can even pop it. A little it. harder. Yeah. So that's when we're saying, you know what I'm asking for? Don't make me baby you on this. Don't okay, I got you. Yeah. Right? I don't want to have to hold your yeah. hand. He's got to be accountable at that point or else. Because he already knows. You'll be stepping on the leash forever otherwise. Because yeah. what I want is... I want in a week or two you to stay down and he goes straight to the ground. You say place, he jumps right on there. You say sit, boom, butt hits the ground. So we, we want to make sure that they clearly understand what, what you want, but then very quickly I'd say in a week I want you to go to a little pop if they give you any monkey business. Because okay. at that point they know what you're looking for, they're choosing to do something else. I'll put him away. Yep. So now place. so don't really play with them when you're when they're on the leash and you like play, I would say play would be in the backyard, leash is off, let that be up. The way we do it, right. backyard is where we have fun. Inside the house, we're kind of cool. So when they got the leash on, they know it's time Work to listen. Work time. Okay. Yeah. So let's grab her again. Heel. Nice. Place. Nice. Down. Boom. How do we do it? You know, if you get this stuff down, you have really good timing and tone and all that stuff. You guys could you could do some seriously great work for the dogs that are yeah. with you guys. Well, this is crazy. <laughs> crazy good, right? Yeah. So what I want you to do is grab him. We're going to up the challenge a little bit. Grab him, tell him to heal, and we're going to walk in circles around her. Heal. There you go. If she moves, you're just going to say no. No. Okay, now grab the leash. Put it back on. Place. Down. There you go. And then walk away. 